here is a projection of my actual Windows Phone. This is my personal Windows Phone and my personal start screen. And what I'll do now is open up Cortana, uh, say a command, and it will open up, or she will open up uh, KiteBuddy for me. KiteBuddy, show me nearby kite surfing spots. And as you can see, she identified that what I wanted to do was to interact with Kite Buddy, and it opened up uh, exactly what I wanted, a list of nearby kite surfing spots. So I can also go ahead and, and open up Kite Buddy and filter these or uh, show these kite surfing spots on a map rather than in a list. So I'll just try and go ahead and do that. Kite Buddy, show me nearby kite surfing spots on a map. And you can see she identified that was a different command, so she goes ahead and activates that. So here we see these uh, see nearby kite surfing spots. Uh, these are spots around Copenhagen where I am right now. And you can see if we zoom down, we can see one of my favorite spots down here. Um, so yeah, we can also go ahead and search. It's another uh, command that I implemented. Uh, and as you actually know, Cortana can also react to typing rather than uh, rather than speech. So you can type to her and write to her rather than speaking to her. So I'll try and go ahead and do that. So if I type kite buddy, which is my keyword here, and then I say find Tarifa, it's a very popular spot in the south of Spain. I'll go ahead and say search. She identifies that I want to search for a kite spot and immediately opens up the search page of my app. So she already entered Tarifa into the search field there and, and executed the search. So I can see there's just one result and I can go ahead and click on that and open the details for that spot. So that's how I integrated voice commands into uh, Cortana, or, and uh, I think it actually works pretty great.